people is pleased to present 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, as it continues to lead the way in advocacy for the creation and dissemination of technology that enables financial inclusivity. The 40 Days 40 Fintechs is shining a spotlight on those that are breaking down digital barriers and bringing millions more on the continent into the transactional space and transforming their lives for the better. My name is Derek Kazimoto. I'm a co-founder at Afropower Analytics and Tausi. Um, Afro Power Analytics was founded in two, 2021 March. Um, initially, the concept was we founded it as a data science consultancy firm. And when we started off, we hit at the market. Um, we kind of like saw the gap of whereby the market was not ready for a consultancy service in data sciences per se. And we hence started um, consulting for other fintechs because the founders had much much more broader of expertise and that's when the um, the revenue started generating from consulting to other fintechs and for us to actually get back to to be on track with what we actually saw um, when we were starting um, the company we kind of like um, pivoted from consulting um, for the data science to actually build a product now the product's name is Tausi and actually Afropavo and Tausi are both the same name. Um, it's just uh, different languages. So Afropavo is an African peacock, um, the scientific word of it, and Tausi is a peacock in Swahili. And um, you could ask, me, uh, the question that normally comes is why a peacock? Um, when a peacock is laying down, its feathers is just laying down and it's very rich of very many beautiful colors and most people tend not to know the beauty of it until its colors and feathers come up um, shining bright, right? And that's what we're doing with data. Data is unstructured, data is everywhere. But once you have people or companies like us come into the picture, we represented it very much more beautiful so that it can be consumed by the users and by our clients. Since we're a small startup and currently we're bootstrapping, um, the easiest entry for us to the market was through B2B because it's easier to deal with clients in this market. So most of our impact has been enabling other fintechs and other um, financial service providers to actually provide services. And this is what we're doing through our model that we call credit scoring as a service for the case of Taosi, of whereby we enable other financial service providers to be able to de-risk um, um, to de-risk um, consumers using alternative data so that they can be able to provide service at a managed risk, right? And for the B2B2C approach, what we do is we create products. And from these products, we partner with mobile network operators and banks to actually deploy to the market and actually um, be able to um, increase the financial inclusiveness of people um, that are existing in this market. One of our clients is, uh, is trying to actually go into among one of the tier banks and we actually, um, the people who are helping, um, rather say consulting, into actually um, develop a system that will impact about 8 million people. And we feel very much moved with the impact that we're actually producing, being able to produce all our services other than just credit scoring um, to begin with. But that's been done within the business as a revenue generating um, source of income. Um, other than that, um, from our product side, we are actually um, go, we are actually in partnership with an MNO. Um, and when I say MNO, I mean mobile network operator and a bank um, to actually to deliver product to the market that will actually impact women, especially. Um, it's a women form of savings um, that is very common with women. Um, if you walk out of the door right now and interview 10 women, I believe from our survey, seven will tell you they're in that form of savings. And from that on, we are looking to impact um, at least 100,000 people by the end of next year, um, once the product is live. The state of um, the FinTech uh, market in Tanzania, I think one of the key thing is one of the leading um, channels that FinTech is actually accessed for most people is through um, the likes of mobile money with the M-Pesa, Tigopesa and Airtel money. Um, that is the majority share of the market. Now, the challenges that comes in is most people um, in the country, uh, depending on um, the affordability and actually um, consumer behavior is um, most of the uh, usage is via USSD. Now, if it's via USSD, it's a challenge for innovators to actually 
um, think outside the box to actually build things that are um, not um, supported by USSD. So all of your innovations, everything that you build has to be supported um, through USSD if you want massive market adoption. Now, the opportunity that comes with it is um, if you have a good enough innovation and you can get integrated with a mobile network operator, um, it's a very good scale as a young innovator or as an innovator whereby at the end of the day um, you don't need to adopt or you don't need to onboard one million people based off your innovation or your service that you're providing. You will be actually impacting if you're looking at the leading mobile network operators, 15 million people um, with just a go live date. When stories are told, um, it kind of like uplifts someone else, right? I'm here today because of someone else who told their story and I believed in myself to get to this point. And by us telling our stories, right, we're able to impact a younger generation to come up with much more better things than the things that we're doing. So 40 Days 40 Fintechs is actually telling um, the people in school who are actually coding right now or learning how to code um, that actually it can be done, right? And we are the ones who are actually responsible to actually do this change and not someone else, right? We in East Africa, we have very amazing, talented, hardworking people. And I see them every day, I meet them every day. And as a collaborate, um, through collaborations and et cetera, we can actually um, make this market um, and make it better. And we are the ones who are actually tasked with that and not, not, and not someone else. Please visit afropoweranalytics.com to kind of see the, our consultancy services, but more importantly, visit tausi.africa. Um, it's a very interactive website. Uh, you'll find a nice video of a guy named Rafiki, and Rafiki is actually the guy that we are actually solving the problem for. So if you're Rafiki and you're listening to this, um, please don't be afraid to contact us. 40 Days 40 Fintechs is presented in prior partnership with Crosslet Technologies, Modus Box, Modulub Foundation and Level 1 Projects.